on September 18, 2023. Officers were called to a store in regards to two women who got caught stealing lingeries along with other items. Okay. Let's all walk back inside. How about that? You walk back inside? Is there an LP tonight? Sir? Sir? Is there an LP right now? Hey, do you have the video up? Unfortunately, I don't. But we have witnesses, more than enough Yeah, because I'm going to say, can I just look at it real quick? Because what, what happened, you have to close that. Oh. two things are down. Okay. But okay. Did, did it actually record? It, or it, That's going to be hard to say because... But we have enough visual witnesses. Okay. And I, I'm one of them. And what happened is one of them took that dealer's bag and okay. seen what one of the managers, because there was like all of us were on it. And the one I saw, the one with the red pigtails, okay. I don't even know what you call those the from the sides. Yeah. She came in and she went right into this fitting room. Mm -hmm. When she came out, she had nothing. I had the security girl go and check, check behind inside it, and, and it was just two empty hangers. Gotcha. All right. And then they also had empty hangers in lingerie, and my manager showed, like, when they were walking out, had the empty hangers, and they were bold enough to just leave. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's my friend because I have a car, so I was just... All right. Hang up the phone for me. Go ahead and read something to both of you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand those rights as I've read them to you? Yes. Okay. You need a receipt. Just a total of everything that they were stuffing in their purse, and they made it past all points of sale. We got them by the car. Yeah. Nice. The only bag. Yes. Caleb, you guys have Caleb, Alpha, 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 I don't think I do. What, uh, I have some, which purse was that in? This one right here. Sarah, so come out here with us. You remember the rights that I already read you? Yeah. You said yes then. You still saying yes now? Or do you, you want to talk to us? Deal. You want me to read it again? No, I'll talk. We'll talk? talk. Okay. So we'll just walk right through, walk me through what was going on today here. Why we're here. I came here because... Um, I did this for to be honest. I don't even know. My friend's daughter's birthday, and I owe him like five hundred dollars, and he told me I could just go to the store for him and grab some stuff for him. So that's what I did. Did she help you at all? Well, she wasn't with him, so. Okay, but I mean, we. Like, did she know that? This is, this is what you came here to do? Yeah. Did she help you at all select any of the items or anything like that? She, what, was she, what was her involvement in all this? She had to grab stuff, I guess, for herself. For herself? Yeah. So you both came here. You came here because obviously you, you want to get something for your friend. and Well, I um, don't And you owe him some money. I get it. I understand. I understand that part, but happens. So you just kind of took it, shoved it in your purse? You had no intentions to pay, basically what you're saying. I can buy like two things, but that's... 
I guess I just got greedy and I knew it was wrong. I had a feeling I shouldn't have been doing it. Okay. Okay. Good? No, no. Sorry, wants me to call him. What happens? You get tough times. I So the cameras were down completely? Caleb? With who? With my husband. Your husband? All right, boys. Well, tell them to call him back because we need to talk to you about some stuff, all right? Yeah, I'm not you all to get in front of the marriage. Go ahead. So, you remember the rights that I read you? You said yes. You understood them. Are you willing to talk to us right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what what brought you here today? Oh, I'm going shopping for my friend's daughter. Okay. So, you're, you're coming here shopping, pick out some stuff. Probably what did you pick out? I picked that up just this course bra and some underwear. So. Okay. So, did you intend to pay for them? I did. Okay, so, but, but you walked out of the door. So right. we appreciate you being honest yeah. about that. All right, it shows, shows some type of character, you know what I mean? You're not trying to deceive us or anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, regardless if you were trying to deceive or not, we were caught red handed by the store, okay? And now we got to address the other issue. All right, what was found in your purse? Oh my God, how do you. We were in a friend's house and I didn't have a purse. I didn't bring any of my belongings with me. So I was like, can I just borrow a purse to put stuff in it? So I just grabbed that purse. I didn't know if anything was in there. And if it was, I didn't have any money. I'm not a drug user. I smoke As far as I'm concerned, I'm just at the It's not my purse. I have a whole big problem with purse. So you're saying this purse is not yours? No. That's what you're telling us. Who's is it? Whoever I was at the friend's house with. When did you when did you grab the purse? Before we left here. So today? Yeah, because I didn't have a purse. I didn't have no pass with me. Honesty goes a long way with us. You know and what I mean? Completely but it's kind of hard to believe that you're saying that this purse is not yours when there's rolling papers and there's all kinds of stuff in there. You smoke weed, what I get it. No. Honestly, Listen, my I know when I grab other, I don't grab other people's stuff without looking at it. Make sure ain't nothing in there that ain't supposed to be, first of all. Correct. I just don't grab random stuff. Correct. That's the first thing. Look, you're being cooperative with us, and we appreciate that. But at the end of the day, you understand. You're the one walking with the purse. You're the one holding the purse when we see you. It's hard for us to differentiate that from being somebody else's purse, right? So, um... All right. This is what's gonna happen. All right. Unfortunately, you you are under arrest. Okay. You're being charged with the shoplifting. All right. And then you're also gonna be charged with possession of controlled substance and drug paraphernalia. All right. So you get Excuse me. All right. Sorry. Now, I normally don't do this, and I'm probably gonna kick myself in the ass for doing this, but I will let you call your husband back. All right. And it's going to be a quick call just to tell them what's going on and where you'll be. All right? You will get a bond. You will be able to bond out. All right? You could. You understand what he's saying with that? It means that you could, you could be home by tonight, right? Yeah. So you will get a bond. You, are you also living in Port St. Lucie? So your bond might be a little higher because you're out of county, but it's still feasible, okay? You just get a mail bondsman and stuff like that. They have a list at the jail. Uh, Unfortunately, possession is possession. It's in your it's in your control. That's why you got to be careful of whose stuff you pick up around here. You know, you just don't pick up random people's purses and stuff like that. All right. Or if you do, at least at least check it. All right. mm -hmm. Just watch her. Yep. Is this your first time getting in trouble? Are you doing the itemize for the yeah. girls? Do you actually witness them take anything? Um, the assistant store manager witnessed them stealing the Dillard's bag from here. Okay. And 
went over to the men's suit fitting room and put it in her handbag. Okay. And then everything else was taken upstairs and they went in the fitting room. Okay. I witnessed them and followed them out of the door to their car. Okay. And she saw the sheriff car coming and said, oh, fuck, I'm not going to jail. And threw the bag and everything underneath the next car. Can you just write that? Yep. Thank you. I have, um, that is mine and then our camera operators as well. Okay, perfect. And here's the two copies of the receipts yeah, I have ours. Yeah, yeah. Just for me. Yep. Lose it. This is all in one bag or this is it nope. separate? These are, uh, these are separate, separate, separate and these are separate. So, two separate bags. It comes to like $220. Which one was in which bag? This is for the, this is for the girl with the red hair. So this looks like which bag, the Louis bag or the coach bag? I'm not sure which. Um, I don't know. I didn't see what they were wearing. I think this was the coach bag. I'd have to double check. But this was the girl with the pink hair. Pink hair and then red hair. Yes. All right. No. No, pink hair and black Brown hair. hair. Brown hair. Okay. Brown yeah. or black hair. Okay. Yeah. So pink hair. Oh, nice. Come on, grandmother. Thank you, I appreciate it. Right. Oh. So that would fit my daughter. Stand up. Back to your together, or the other way. My bad. There you go. All right, let's walk on out. I don't know. I think that's her. Fuck what it is. Fuck what it is. There you go. Your arms fit right in that hole too. That is a little more comfortable.